Okay, um, so uh, this talk started with this, this poem. You probably saw this on your great aunt's refrigerator, um, or you know, insert uh, evangelical in your life. It's actually that nice little uh, story, a dream reflecting back on your life, looking back in the footprints in the sand, seeing only the one pair of footprints, thinking that that was where the Lord abandoned you, and in fact, the Lord carried you. It causes us to kind of reflect on our lives, what has carried us through our lives. Um, and for me, um, I actually had the same dream, but I was with GNU plot. Um, so. Um, um, I, I, I acknowledge that I'm in an extremely small demographic here, um, but um, I'm not sure how many people have used GNU Plot. Uh, GNU Plot actually has been with me my entire career. I kind of realized that I, I've used GNU Plot since I was first starting to look at data. Um, and GNU Plot, I know, has a reputation for being uh, for having some some rough edges, but it's extremely useful. Um, and I wanted to show you some. If you've never used GNU Plot, um, you really um, should start using it, and you should start using it interactively. GNU Plot is actually quite interactive. Um, get, the, get the book. And, it's helpful. The, 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 get the book. We don't need to actually get the book. If you get the book, it's helpful. But there's actually a lot of the stuff is in the help messages and so on. Um, I'm going to show you just running GNU Plot here on my Mac. The nice thing about GNU Plot is it's available everywhere. And I've got. Um, I'm going to plot. Um, actually, let me show you what I want to plot here. Um, so I've got a, um, Dave wrote a Tosh Stomp program, foreshadowing, um, and we've got um, a output from a program, and this thing is um, doing, in this case, two writes. So it's doing two, there are two simultaneous writers to the device, and this is getting output once per second, um, and it's doing the number of writes that I have done over this period of time, and the average latency of each write. And this is a natural thing to want to plot out. Now, this is note that this is just monotonically increasing. Um, it's not a per second rate. So I just awked some stuff up and actually got that into something that is um, more readily plottable. So if we um, look at um, the sc17.io.in, this is much more readily plottable. And in terms of how you plot it, it's really, really easy. So if I just plot sd17.io.in and don't give it anything else, I just give the name of the file. I get something that's workable. It's a, it, it looks a little crude, but it's actually workable. And, and it's showing us a really interesting pattern here. Um, this is on an HDST drive. Um, and it is showing us that actually, as this is seconds over here, and this is going to be writing to the entire drive, and th this is with the write cache enabled, but nonetheless, the number of write operations goes down as time increases. These are sequential writes. I don't know if people know why this is happening, but this is happening because we are moving from, from low LBAs to high LBAs. And as we move from those low LBAs are at those outer tracks, and as we move into those inner tracks, the media is actually not moving as fast underneath the head. So we actually got less write bandwidth. So this is what you would expect. Um, and you can, um, it makes it really easy to, um, I can, uh, if I want to um, reduce my point size a little bit, um, get something that's a, that's a little more flame graphy. I think we'll go with, um, with or a little more uh, uh, heat mappy. We'll do it with, um, th that looks pretty good. I want to add, um, I've got some other devices here. I want to add them to the mix. So let's add, um, I believe I've got uh, sd18.io.in, I'm hoping. Good. Okay, there's sd18.io.in. This is a Seagate drive. Um, and, and we're seeing um, some slightly different behavior here. Um, it is, the, and this is number of writes per second. Um, we're seeing that the writes per second is lower, <coughs> slightly lower, but this is still pretty good. The band is tighter, that's kind of interesting, it's a little more deterministic. Again, this is with the write cache enabled, two, sacred, two concurrent writes. Um, and we actually may want to, lo we'll lower the point size there as well. Um, so both of these drives look um, pretty, pretty good, uh, pretty similar. Um, maybe if we were just comparing the two of them, we'd be very upset. Um, but I actually want to add, um, yeah, you know where this is going. Um, so you'd be like, well, I've heard so much about, uh, about Toshiba drives. I haven't heard this, I haven't heard Toshiba uttered this many times in a week since the 80s. Um, like, what's going on with these Toshiba drives? I just, I've heard a lot about it. I really want to know what's going on about it. And if you want to know what's going on with the Toshiba drives, um, so do we. Um, <laughs> And, and you can just, like, if you want to just join the pool of what the living hell is going on here, we don't know. Um, and you can see that we end up in these periods where, and this is one of these things where if you look at the data, you can clearly see it gets sad, it gets sad, it's sad for a while, and then it seems to be suddenly happy again. But wow, that sadness has got really clear patterns to it where you see that we, we kind of exponentially decay and then kind of suddenly surge back. You can see, meanwhile, it actually is following the same trend. It's just not writing as fast, so it can't get there as quickly. It's following that same general downward slope, but allowing us to use it. GNU plot allows us to really quickly visualize this. And you just, this is not a complicated .gpl file that I got from somewhere. I didn't have to read a book. This is really, really simple stuff and allows us to very quickly visualize data. With that, I'm out of time. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.
I don't think I talk faster than Trent. I think that Trent is still. <laughs> Sad. 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 Sad.